Mega Airport, the Beijing Daxing Airport. At one point, there were up to forty thousand workers working here. On wow. The airport here has become a major tourist site. The incredible feature at Daxing Airport. I want to take you guys for a visit to Chinese Garden. There's a hill on the top of the airport, the garden here. Look at this behind. This is Chinese high-speed train. Every seat here just looks like a first-class seat on an airplane. Don't you agree? So today I am going to take you to explore China's new mega airport. The Beijing Daxing Airport, which is 46 kilometers south of Beijing City, and there are two ways to get there by train. One is on a high-speed rail like this, the Chinese fast bullet train, and it costs about 90 yuan. Um, you get a seat in business class like this, or 25 yuan in the second class. And the second way is by a dedicated metro line, and. It's about 20 minutes by the metro line. There's one button on the chair you push down, it converts to a flat bed, just as good as first class seats on the airplane. I have the whole cabin here myself, business class, only five seats available. It's incredibly quiet on this train and you couldn't hear much noise and it's very little vibration as well. So now we're gonna speed up all the way to Daxing. So I arrived in China yesterday, and I have to be honest, there's something bothers me. I couldn't check my Google Mail, I couldn't watch YouTube, Netflix, I couldn't commenting on Instagram, and internet censorship is indeed a huge pain in China and many other countries. The solution to overcome that is to use a VPN. So myself, I use Surfshark VPN to connect to another country, then access all the content I want. For frequent flyers like me, um, it is really important to stay secure when I'm browsing the internet, when I'm using public Wi-Fi on the, in the hotel or at the airport, I need a VPN to secure and encrypt the data I'm sending. I want to introduce you a new feature in Surfshark VPN. It's called Hadlock. It provides an extra layer of security. Hadlock scans database for possible email and password leaks and provide user real-time alerts if any personal information was leaked or found available on the internet. So here's the best VPN deal for my viewers. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshot.com slash Sam. Enter promo code Sam. You will get 83% off and a one extra month of free subscription. Thank you for watching and this video is sponsored by Surfshark. Well, that was very, very smart. They can rotate the seats around 180 degrees when they change track and go to the other directions. Here I come, Beijing Da Xing. British Airways, the flight behind me, is the first to arrive, a foreign airline first arrival at Daxing Airport today at 9, 10 a.m. Here we are, Sam, Beijing Daxing Wu Chang. Hello, Daxing Cristiano, we've been waiting Airport. for you. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you finally here, and it's a great pleasure to, uh, to be here with you guys and uh, for the opening of the new Daxing Airport, the end of eight years of work and great collaboration with our uh, French and Chinese partners. Welcome to Beijing. Welcome to Beijing. Welcome to Beijing. Welcome, welcome. First crew ever. Welcome to Daxing Airport. Welcome to Beijing. This point right here, between my feet, is the absolute center of the building. So it's the sixth armed star. South Pier is international. The other four are domestic, and the north is the railway station. Everything comes together geometrically right in this point. Wow! Right. In Look the at this. Of the building. Mirrors on the ground. At one point, there were up to 40,000 workers working here on wow. uh, three times eight, so 24-hour shifts. We at one point had 80 tower cranes uh, maneuvering things on the site. Uh, I think, rightly, the people in China are very, very proud of this building because it is only possible to do something like this amazing in China. And one of the things that's really nice about one of the design features that we have here is that you can stand here on the land side right up until the edge of the central unifying space 
um, that brings people together. So one of the things that we have here, which I wanted to briefly explain, is the vertically stacked design of the building. So we have, we're standing right up here on this mezzanine with some restaurants and bars on the land side, and you look down into this main central canyon, which is the big domestic departure canyon with all the domestic retail. Above it, you have international departures, so passengers cross the canyon and they go over to emigration where they take their passport control and then go out to the international pier to the south. And then down below in this big oculus, this big elliptical hole, you have the immigration where people are arriving. The first thing they can do is look up and see this wonderful space that is quite uplifting and relaxing after a long flight. Do you see the central dome here where we have the, uh, the national flag hanging? It's a big dome which brings in light. You're coming through from the land side over to the air side into the central dome and it's a space where you orientate yourself. And then you, you can see that there's different strips of light that go down the individual piers. So it becomes very intuitive the way that you find your way to the gate. And if you look down the piers, you will see that you can see all the way down to the pier ends, you can see all the individual gates. So suddenly the airport is a size, even though it's a very large building, it's one of the largest single volume passenger terminals in the, in the world. It's not intimidating. It's still on a human scale. It uses this idea of courtyards, which is something that comes out of traditional Chinese architecture. It uses this idea of layering of spaces, which is also quite an urban feeling, and makes people feel comfortable. And it also makes people feel like they're in control of their journey. So it's eight and a half, nine minutes from the central part of the building to the furthest gate on a pier, which is quite, uh, quite remarkable for an airport of this size. And also we do it all without the so-called APM. We don't need one of those little airport trains, one of those little airport people movers. Everything is done on foot, which makes it very sustainable also. Around this central space, we have these six mega columns. You can see here one, two, three, four, and five and six are behind us. Just with these six mega columns and a space frame technology, which is a very large space frame technology using uh, steel welded spheres and, and, and uh, hollow round sections, so tubes. Uh, which has been developed uh, now over the last several decades in China. It's now quite a sophisticated technology that lets us span, you know, these incredibly long distances column free. And so what that means is all the things you see inside here, including where we're standing, the retail pods, the bridge, everything here in theory could be moved around over the next 50 to 70 years, which is kind of the lifespan of a project like this. Things could move around and be replaced here without changing the character of the building or having to gut it or having to kind of rip it apart. The airport here has become a major tourist site. Look at the people continuously, like a river, coming in, taking photos and selfies. They're not flyers, but they're just coming to enjoy the environment, the brand new China's mega airport. So here we are on level four, which is the traditional full service check-in level with traditional check-in desks, both for international and domestic traffic passengers. But also what this airport has, which is a huge innovation, is a level below which is dedicated to self-processing passengers who arrive already with a boarding pass and have no bags or they can drop a bag through an automatic bag drop. Just purely frequent domestic travelers have their own level below and that really expedites passenger throughput. It's coming out of train station on the ground floor here. I already see a lot of checking counter. This is the beauty of Daxing Airport. The feature is a transportation hub seamlessly connected to the airport. So when you come out from the train, you go straight to check-in, go up third floor floor, go through the security checkpoint, and go straight to the boarding gates. The whole experience will be seamless. Well, when you arrive at the airport straight away, you felt the architecture is just wonderful, amazing. There's a lot of curve here. You can see the whole airport is curved around and it just felt very spacious, very bright. It's an incredible feature at Daxing Airport. Where this here, a straight line at 44 kilometers, you can get through to Tiananmen Square and then to the Bell Tower, to the Drum Tower, to the National Stadium. It is all a straight line. They call the Center X of Beijing. And I encourage you guys to come to see the landmark here on the fourth floor of Daxing Airport. 
So I just passed through the security in the air sign, the international sign there. You can cross the two bridges, then you get to the custom. Then after that, it will be the gate area. So I am at the International Pier at Dasing Airport. They separate this full domestic pier and the International Pier here. And right in front of me, there's actually a very nice Chinese garden. So I want to take you guys for a visit the Chinese garden. Really nice. Wow, who doesn't like to have a beautiful, quiet, tranquil moment before your long haul flight? So this is located in uh, the International Pier, towards the end of the pier. If you guys have a few hours and come out here, have some fresh air. There's a hill off the top of the airport, the garden here. Yay! exercise a long time but <laughs> as I'm showing you here you can actually do some exercise before or after your flights here in the lounge. Oh, this is a bunk bed. So there's actually two lounges in the international side of Dasing Airport. This one I'm sitting at is called the East Pacific Lounge. It's actually a pay lounge and they're expecting priority pass to come later on. Um, the other lounge is BCH, which is also partially open. What's impressive is actually the bridge behind me. You can kind of board direct from the lounge and onto the airplane. So when you compare Da Sing with Istanbul, which opened in April this year, they're both mega airports projected to have 100 million passengers due time. In my opinion, both Istanbul and Da Sing are brand new, built on a clean sheet 21st century airport with a lot of good connectivity, technology and good features. The new Istanbul airport is actually a long rectangular shape built like a Turkish palace. It is very grand, um, however I think it is very long walking from one end to the other end. The starfish shape uh, Dasing airport is actually quite smart. From one end to the other end I walked around no more than 10 minutes in total because of that five pier shape like a starfish. But what I really want you guys come out to experience both of the airport and share your opinion which one do you like more. So British Airways is the first foreign airline to depart out of Da Sing here. So at 12.10 the flight depart from London. Today is the national airline of the international airline. Hi, I found a passenger. What's your name? Jinghua. Jinghua? Okay, you're going to London today. 你太幸运了，第一个航班大型机场国际航班。你念错吗？我今天不坐，我来送飞机的。哦，你不上飞机啊？对啊，只有你上了，下次再见喽。Hello, welcome on board. I have a little petrol bottle. This cabin is the last one. I'm not flying today. I'm sending off. You guys, you guys are making history here. First international airline arriving and departing Beijing. We are. We'd love to have you on board, sir. Oh man, love you. Thank <laughs> love you. you too. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye bye. Fantastic.